I brought this to your attention probably six months ago when I was talking about the collection use and storage of your identifying information, which includes your image, like my image right now on Zoom. It's being recorded. I say it's okay. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I was I was out recently and uh, I just found myself in the frame of somebody's photo. And I, I just, I don't like that, but I can't complain because if I'm out in the public, eh, you know, but if I'm deliberately dealing with Apple or Google and it's asking me for my thumbprint or an email address, first of all, I don't do that, but it, there's probably going to be a day where I'm going to have to do it or I'm going to have to use a fake thumbprint, which by the way, you guys, you can get a fake thumbprint. You can get a fake face if you want to use biometric data. You can do stuff like that. But anyways, um, the collection of this is, um, is property and it's important. Now, you would think, ah, the, the, the company just wants it for identifying like a key. Yeah, well, you know, there's so many other ways to do it. Why do I need biometric data and biographical data for marketing? Come on, it's so easy. It's for marketing. I, I went to a store the other day and the person said, hey, you want some like cash discount or something? And I was just like, kind of like not really paying attention. And I said, yeah, sure, whatever. She goes, oh, what's your phone number? And I just, you know, because it's so easy to remember. I just said it real fast. And then the next thing I know, she's asking me for email address. And I said, whoa, 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 hold on a second. No, I don't want any discounts. <laughs> and then she thought I was from Mars, you know, because I, I don't care. I don't, you know, it's just, that's just me. But I'm just saying, we just forget about this stuff. So it's abandoned if you don't make a claim on it. Yeah, you give it to Google. Now it's going to be like we talked about the other day, uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's out there and the, on the internet forever. It's forever. Why did you just let them do it without terms? Why did you let them do that without terms? You paid for the thing, you paid for the service, you paid for the license agreement for the software you're using, you paid for the products, and you paid for it twice because you gave them dollars and you gave them your biometric and biographical identifying information. Without terms or conditions, you accepted theirs because they do have them, by the way. Why? because they're making money with your data. So you have every right to describe your data as property. It is private property. It's your intangible private property. Why? Because it's unique to you. If it's unique to yourself, then you can claim it as your property. Where, do, where is that, John? Where's the statute that says that? I don't know. I don't think there is one. I don't think the government's gonna be that nice. <laughs> to make it so easy for us. But tell me I'm wrong that something that you're you're using or holding in your hand is not your property. My mom used to say possession is nine tenths of the law. So if I give you say go back real quick. So for for centuries, people have been using biometric data to communicate. I was, say, I was telling someone this to, to this day, I saw his face, he was shocked. He's like, what? Centuries? I said, well, think about it. A hundred years ago, you walk into your job in the morning and the boss says, hey, Jim, what's up? Have a nice day. How does he know you're Jim? Because he recognizes your face from yesterday. Because <laughs> he hired you, right? That's because he recognizes your biometric data. But we're in a different century now. And here's what's happening. Not only is a human being recognizing your data for one moment, it's permanent and it's stored in a device that you don't have control over. You'll ne you never will. That's just our society right now. But you can make a claim on it. I think that's better. I mean, if you guys look at this stuff, my thinking is if I were you, I'd have 500 of these filed right now. 500 biometric security things. I showed you how to do one, you can keep on doing them. You can change them how you like. File them, file them, file them, file them. There's, your data's everywhere. File and make a claim. Make the claim for just pennies. You don't need to make $80,000 for the use of your image. You don't have to do that. Just a few bucks, okay? You can make, there's there's terms like on YouTube. Yeah, you can make. So YouTube is collecting, storing, and using your data. You can make a claim that's independent of YouTube's policies because it's your property. That's why. You can make a claim that's independent with independent terms separate from the counterparty, okay, which is going to be the debtor, and separate from your lawmaker. Your lawmaker has pretty good laws. Illinois does. Uh, 
think there's another step, forget the other side, maybe Texas has pretty good laws regarding this uh, topic, but so what? I don't care what the laws are. I, I wanna decide what's being done with my uh, my identifying information. So it's just something to uh, you know realize when you're dealing with that sort of thing.